didn't even know like their parents were like just people in this world. Like I didn't even know like they were like just big time in Jamaica. She's a pl- I didn't yes. know like she, um she have a mother that she have some fraud charges um allegations she's a dentist and she did I don't know but um there's some there's some bloodline stuff going on there but listen what is your plan legally oh yeah you know we load it up man we're gonna take care of that you're gonna we load it up. take care of got it the, we got the biggest that's why to, to me i'm not like worried like it didn't make me cry i'm not here fucking no 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 you look relaxed i'm telling you looks like I'm somebody saying. took you somebody you trusted took the total piss with you yeah. And you gave them every benefit of the doubt. Correct. And I want to say, as a Jamaican, I am sorry. Thank you. I and appreciate I really you. I really hope uh-huh. that this is not going to be, um, you know, looked upon. And I want you to know that we have very decent people in Jamaica. And we, we, we do not like fraudulent activities. And it's an embarrassment to our country yeah. and our culture. And I'm really Sorry, I, I truly uh, uh, all I you truly uptown that. people on here that's scamming people for your lifestyle. Uno, stop it, y'all. Like, stop it. Let me let me tell you something. And and some people, I'm gonna I'm I'm put it straight like this some people were saying that I was using this as a clout to be this clout to 1.5 million let me people. Tell you something. I don't business? need clout, like, I don't need clout. Like, I've, I've already been that guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've already been out there. I'm not gonna use this to make me any better than what I am. However, the reason why I put this out there is because there's a lot of honest business working, like a lot of working, like business people out there that has businesses, that own businesses, and they would love for someone to give them the opportunity to enhance their business by just running some ads and helping them out. But however, I gotta let them know that this this company is out there scamming people because they didn't only scam me, they scammed hundreds of more businesses. Honest workers, taking their last dollar to help feed their family for food on the table to do whatever they got to do. Some businesses yes. hit me up. I'm going to tell you this, like, show you this, like, some of my friends, not friends, but some of my followers, they hit me up and was like, yo, I gave this man my last dollar and I don't have my business anymore because I can't afford to run it because he took my last dollar and sold me a dream. So imagine taking someone's last dollar that was going to enhance their business or invest more inventory or more products into their business. You took that from them, didn't give them, and now they have to shut down their business and they can't feed their family anymore. They can't do they can't do for themselves anymore. So you have people contacting you saying they've been scammed. So it's not you alone. Nah, hundreds of people. My DMs are full. And how I know, because you know everybody wants to want everybody wants to be on the big screen. So if you DM me and you're like, oh yeah, they scammed me too, show me the proof. I have so much proof from so many different businesses that they did it, they did it with. Same way. One business, another business said thirty thousand dollars, but he doesn't want to be exposed. He's like, yo, I, you know, I, he's he's a little, he's a, he's a kid. He's like, yo, I don't want to be out there, but um, you know, I'm just showing you this. And they took thirty thousand dollars. They, you know, they have thirty thousand dollars from my business. He says, luckily, my parents was able to help me get back on. Not everybody got. Not everybody's lucky for that. Not everybody's lucky to have a a, a, a parent or you know someone that can help them get back on. He's like, yo, thankfully I have my parents. They helped me. They gave me back money to help me get back on and my business is not shut down. But just know that Correcta and Drew are out there to rob people with their successful business. $30,000. I said, yo, bro, I text him. I'm like, yo, bro, are you sure you don't want the world to notice? Like, why would you not want to get your money back? He's like, you know, because it's still, you know, there, there's a holiday coming up right now. I don't want to affect my business. I'm like, yo, bro, that's not going to affect your business. Let me get it out there for you. He's like, honestly, Shaq, when I'm ready to, I'll let you through. He did comment in there. So if everybody want to know and they want to know who it is, he did comment in there and he wrote on the post how much money they took from him. I'm not going to expose his name. You guys can go read it go to the comments. What is the total money that they scammed you? Just for people who may not have followed that is on the live. We have 5,000 people on the live. 80. Two thousand dollars. Eighty-two thousand dollars. Eighty-two thousand yeah. U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars. Eighty-two thousand dollars. One hundred and fifty-six dollars. Eighty-two thousand one hundred fifty-six dollars. How much work can you want, Miguel? Ju- <laughs> How much work can you want? Eight, 
$82,000. That is insane. $82,000 is insane. Like, Are you going the legal way to have them prosecuted? And, I mean, not sued. Go to jail. 100%. Nobody deserves to get $82,000 taken away from them and they just walk away freely. Like, a lesson has to be learned. So if it's not, not done again. Yeah, there's so many people that DM me that was like, yo, I would love to do this. I would love to do that to them. Let me do it. Let me do it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, nah. Like, we on a whole different level now. We don't do stuff like that. You know what I mean? They need to pay for this. They need to pay for this to leave again. A black, a black man yeah. that is doing his thing. Yeah. Another, I hate this. This is a bad story. You know what I'm saying? Another black brother and his woman is going to drag down a, a, an ambitious man that's doing legitimate business. This and is sad. Like, like taking money from a hard working person. Like this, like this business is my everything. And people that know me personally know that I wake up every single day and I advertise and promote my business. I even have courses where I teach people how to start up their business. I teach people how to make money. I teach people how to run their business properly. Like, I'm not just like a person that's just for me. I give out so much to the world. I give out tons of information, free information that people will pay for. I give it out for free because it's like, I like putting people on and helping people out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, yes. I can heart. feel your energy. I can feel your energy. You're a good spirited person. Absolutely. And you, you, you know, uh, and I, I am embarrassed. I'm you, embarrassed. And Jamaica, saying. Jamaica turned gonna... upside down tonight because yes. she is the, the, her name is not uh, Drew, is the daughter of a politician who is up for election and this will not look good on them do you know what this can do to her mom tell me i know it's not good because the, you know everybody's telling me that you got an election is going on this is going on that's going on and um i'm not gonna lie like some of our family members uh reached out to me because they were trying to fix the situation um they were trying to fix the situation so yeah um, I'm not gonna I'm name not, who I'm was because the person that no, nah, the mother didn't call me. She didn't even reach out to me. Someone else in their family member, but I'm not gonna name him because honestly, he's been very respectful. And Pernet, everyone... is, is Pernell Charles Junior? I'm saying him. Pernell Charles Junior. No, nah, I don't know who that is. No, nah, I don't know who that is. Oh, all right, okay. Listen, he's <laughs> he's, he's at you know what I'm saying. He was actually very. respectful respectful he didn't he don't know what's going on and how did he want to fix it was he putting he's like yo money in your can you tell me rich over jlp you know they might rob people money over jlp 100 so money so, was... so he, 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 he wants to wire money to you no he called me and asked me how much is it i told him how much is it he said give me some time i'm gonna get i'm gonna make sure you get your money back one call to Andrew holiness and this don't you know one the call so we expect Shaq, I, I want to thank you for coming on the live with me, of right? Course. With the queen of tea. But I'm telling you what's going to happen. And I'm, I know, know you already play chess and you don't play checkers, I can tell. So I predict that within a week, um, Andrew Holiness will call an emergency meeting tonight and you'll get your, your money before thanksgiving that's amazing i'll be happy yeah i i would be happy and if you do i would like you to send me something to go to marshall's that's all that's all that's Bro, i got you <laughs> <laughs> but oh, that's nothing <laughs> seriously no just do it i got yo let Listen, me tell you you're holding the handle and with these scammers you're gonna have to hold the blade no there is important elections and they don't want to know that their daughter is out there scamming people so tomorrow this live is going straight to the prime minister's desk i'm telling you he's on the live right now 
He's actually my cousin, Andrew okay. Holness. Andrew Holness, I'm gonna talk to you. Right. Pay this man's money and get this off of this mess of the internet. Oh, right? it's viral. And let Auntie Shelly get a little marshals out of this. You understand? But Shaq, I want you to feel comfortable here. Any development, you see, if you get the money, we don't want the tea when things are spoiled. We want to know when it's sweet. I want you to come back and say, Shelly, this is what's happening. I'm going, they're going to jail. One. Two. My money's in my account. I just want you to tell my tea timers what is happening in real time. Can you do that? <laughs> That's not a problem. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't doing nothing. You're not running. going I'm anywhere here. without your eight two thousand love. And we I ain't going. I, I ain't going nowhere. Get it. <laughs> I, I, I ain't going. Um, Tony, it would be great if you 